Hey everybody, welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name is Gazy. I host the Outlet Podcast and I just want you guys to check it out. It's uh, free, available for downloads on iTunes and SoundCloud and all other major podcasting uh, platforms. So, today, I just want to say hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, it's been like kind of a long time since I just did a straight up genuine vlog trying to say hi and tell you what's going on in my world. So I guess this is Gazy's world. I gotta show you this. These are Machi Balls. There you go. Uh, I've been wanting to show you guys this uh, ice cream treat, but I haven't been able to because every time I have tried, I've been uploading other content, I've been editing other content, I've been working, and um, it melts before I can show you. So these are ice cream treats. Uh, these are Japanese. Um, I'm not a weeb. I'm not a weeb. Um, so they're ice cream treats. There's no cone. What it is, it's covered in powder, and there is a uh, um, like a silk, like very thin silk. It's actually made of skim milk. I I think I heard it was made out of skim milk. Um, like a layer to cover it over. So this one is chocolate. They got another. They got other other fav, uh, flavors like red bean paste. Uh, red bean is actually really good. You should try it as ice cream. Try it. Give it a shot. It's really good. No weed and no joke. Mm. This one is double chocolate. Oh no, crap. Oh crap. Hold on. I think I picked up the coffee one. This is gross. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't like the coffee one. All right. Dang, that's nasty. Man, that's nasty. I mean, if you like coffee ice cream, then that's all yours. I must have picked up the wrong... I thought I was getting double chocolate. The problem with matcha balls, you can't tell unless... Like, you can't tell the flavor unless it's, like, written on the label thing. Um, usually, they'll be in, like, a freezer, and they should all be color-coordinated, but I guess it's really hard to differentiate double chocolate and coffee grounds. Gross. This one is orange. It's orange. So it should be orange. Thank goodness it's orange. Oh my gosh. Much better. Immediately takes away the coffee flavor. So guys, um, I just wanted to say hi. Also, let you know what's going down in my life. I will be attending this weekend I'm, I'll be attending the uh, Let's Play Live um, it's in Tampa Florida Let's Play was started by I believe it was started by Achievement, Hunt, Achievement Hunter uh, Jeff Ramsey Bernie Burns Gus uh, so, and some other dudes I don't like Achievement Hunter I never really did but I love Fun House I love Fun House. Joel's not on Fun House anymore, but I love Joel. I love Adam. I love Bruce is amazing. Um, Elise and James Willems are the uh, the geek couple that everyone strives to be. Mm. And they're really great. So I'm really excited to see uh, the new the Let's Play Live East Coast tour, and it's coming to Tampa. I'm going to that. I can't wait for that. Um, and also, guys, I'm just, um, I'm working on that one video. Uh, if you already saw it, the existential crisis video that happened to me at four in the morning because of anime, I, I, I'm on the tail end of all those emotions. Um, I realized something about myself and it's that, um, I can't, I don't want to go out without having just experience so much like in life it's life is very 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 short time is a time is outstanding and it's amazing and I really want to take advantage of all of the time that I have man um, I said I would talk about it in another episode so I'll do it now um, I went with my wife to Canada um, I'll upload those videos uh, here also I went with my wife to Canada. Well, we did, and um, I had a great time. 
Canada was lovely. Qu uh, Quebec City, a gorgeous, beautiful, rustic, ancient French colonial. Out amazing, amazing. Toronto, so urban. Uh, we went to Mo uh, Montreal. Montreal, so hipster. So much more hipster than urban. Uh, I tried poutine. It was out. It was so. I was filled with so much happiness and culture. I, I felt so content, man. And um, the reason why I'm kind of like gushing over all of this stuff is because, well, man, I don't want to go. I don't want to have like, I don't want to have life pass me by and not experience stuff. Uh, I don't want to go and like be on my deathbed and say, I didn't travel. Like travel is what everyone talks about. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. However, it's like, okay, a flight across the world is just one, two weeks paycheck. Yeah, that's all it is. You can say that we can, you can literally save money to do all of these most all of the most amazing things that you've never had the chance to do. It's very difficult, and I'm not trying to condescend it, to your financial situation, but please follow me. There are no no uh, inhibiting things to stop you, and I just don't want to be stopped, man. I, I thought about my career. The fact that I want to enter into nuclear medicine, um, I'm going to be honest with you here. I want to be a pastor. Um, people ask me on YouTube, uh, are you a pastor? I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want, like, sometimes my friends watch my videos. I don't like it when my friends watch my videos, not because I don't want them to. It's just, um, these are like a diary. You know, and I'm glad I'm sharing this with you. Um, it's just, some stuff is personal. If you take on the role of a pastor or a policeman or a doctor, that's something that you got to be forever. I'm, can you obviously switch? Yeah, I get it. You can. You can switch from careers. But a calling is something so much more different. And if you were, if you feel called to be an uh, someone in the army or something like that, that's just something that you can't get away from. And so, I'm saying all that about being a pastor, wanting to be a pastor, because I, there are some things in life that you can't do. You can't do certain things in life once you have certain responsibilities. That's why you shouldn't have a kid outside of wedlock. <clears throat> Excuse me. You shouldn't have a kid outside of wedlock because, quite frankly, you, you, the rest of your life, those 18, next 18 years, ideally should be devoted to that child. I'm in the, I'm in the struggle of my, of that existential crisis where, um, I want to give myself over to something. And at the same time, I want fulfillment. I want to go and around with my wife. I want to see the world with her. So that's that's what I'm going through. If you got comments, questions, concerns, any everything else, just share it, man. I'm willing to hear it. Thanks for watching my video. My name's Gazy. I host the Outlet Podcast. Follow, subscribe, comment to everything, share. Um, let's connect together and recharge.